there's a lot of pressure. You have like everyone in the stands like looking at you, like everyone that's like rooting for you. So you know if you like, mess up once, you're gonna get like, like they're gonna make sure you know about it. My uh, grandpa grew up playing hockey in Finland, and uh, he just grew up with it, so he wanted me to try it. So I ended up trying it one day, and I loved it. Just couldn't get enough. My grandparents are from Finland, and um, they love hockey. I don't have much family that actually plays hockey. Besides my dad, he played a little bit in high school. But my grandparents just, that's all they did in Finland, was play hockey. and sports so. my practice usually consists of a lot of endurance training I try 16 hours a week usually it's like 12 13 mostly just in the backyard usually like eight of it's on the ice and uh, there's a lot of running a lot He needs to be developed a lot more, but most of this team does. This is a, we're, we're in a rebuilding year. The Fair Creek team, when I was last involved with it four years ago, we won the city championship. And like in any high school sport, you know, you got good years, you got bad years. So you have rebuilding years. This is definitely a rebuilding year for this team. We usually show up about two, three hours beforehand to stretch and. Uh, just like get ready for the game, whether it's like mental or physical. And um, around an hour before, we go in the locker room, start changing. A lot of them have really loud speakers, so it's always a nice thing you can drown out all the thoughts about losing. And um, that's about it. The refs blow the whistles when you need to get on the ice. If I had to pick one, my role model would probably be my uncle or my grandpa because they both played hockey and they're both really good. I believe so. And uh, they've taught me like, almost everything I know. Like, they run drills with me every day, which helps a lot. They tell me what exercises I should do before games to make sure I don't end up injuring myself. So I'd definitely pick one of them. You don't really have anyone to talk to about like plans for the game and how you're gonna expand on like your skills if they want to like head to the rink after school. So it's kind of rough, but it's all good. And there's what 2,000 people in the school, but I think if like a couple people came to the games, which is already a couple people, but. They're not, they don't talk about it a lot. If more people came to the games and started talking about it, I think eventually people would know that the school actually has a hockey team or a hockey player. Our team is merged with FAIR, so mostly their school knows about it. We don't have anything even in the curriculum. So I can always try, but there's not much I can do.